Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. What's going on, everyone? Today, we're here in our new Antonelli baseball facility, and we're working on double plate turns as a second baseman. Now, the mechanics that we talk about today, again, can be done either as a baseball player or as a softball player. So the mechanics are completely the same, regardless of the sport that you play. Now, we've already gone over videos from the shortstop position. Now, when we go to the second base position, there's four different ways you can turn a double play. Today, we're gonna to talk about the underhand feed because it's one of the most common plays that is made. Now, the footwork is very similar to the shortstop position, but we have to reverse everything. And so there's a couple of things that I think will also help out as a second baseman. And I've had a lot of experience. I played a lot of second base, but also had to play some shortstop. And if you've only played one or the other, then it might sound easy to just say, oh, reverse everything, just flip it. But you do have to practice because it will take a little bit of time to get used to being able to kind of mirror those images that you did at the other position. So let's talk about the first thing. When the ball is hit, the first thing that we now have to do, which is probably the biggest difference when you move the second base if you've never been there, is you need to get to the left side of the ball. Now, Every position when we're throwing the first base, we're always talking about getting to the right side of the ball. So that's where this gets a little bit confusing. So when the ball is hit, I need to get to the left part of the ball. And all I wanna do is think about getting the ball basically right off of my right ear. That's all I need to go. I don't need to go too far over here. The more time I spend going over here, well now I've gotta come back to the ball, it takes too much time. So I just wanna get a step to the left of the ball. So I get my left foot, going this way, I get the ball on my right ear, and now I can work myself back towards my target. The reason we wanna to get to the left side of the ball is because we wanna have momentum, get our body going towards our target, which will help with our toss. So once I get to the left side of the ball, now I'm going to attack the ball. I'm gonna go into my left, right fielding footwork. Again, this is different from every other ball that you're gonna feel. We're always talking about going right, left. Now we're gonna go left, right field the ball. So that will take a little bit of time if you've never played second base to learn how to do this. Now I'm gonna go left, right. I'm gonna try to time up the catch to my right foot. So as my toes hit, that is when I'm catching the ball right here. Now one small tip is I wanna take my right toe and I wanna point that right towards my target because we're gonna drive towards the shortstop or the second base bag. Okay, so I go left, Right, I wanna put my right toe towards my target. I'm going to field the ball as my right toes are coming down. See how that starts to shift my momentum and give me something to feed the ball with. Once I catch the ball, I'm going to take the ball out of my glove immediately. I'm not going to bring the ball to the middle of my body. We always flip it from where we catch it. That's the verbiage that we use on double play underhand tosses. So I'm gonna take the ball out of my glove. I'm going to start to drive with my lower body. So I'm gonna drive off of my back leg. I'm gonna drive myself towards my target. I'm going to start to flip the ball. And the, what we talk about is, I want to feel like I'm going to shake hands with my second baseman with my throwing hand, and I'm going to wave goodbye to someone that's behind me with my glove hand. So I drive my body towards my target. I'm going to finish like I'm going to shake hands and I'm gonna wave goodbye here. So it's just like that. If I do that, if I drive with my lower body and if I shake hands with my shortstop and wave goodbye, we put all that together, it's going to add to the velocity of the toss. I need to make this a firm toss. The quicker I can get it to my shortstop, the quicker we can get the ball across the infield to first base. So it's important to drive with your body. We wanna take at least two to three hard steps after we toss the ball. When we practice, we literally make our infielders go over and shake the hand of our shortstop. So let me show you again what that's gonna look like. So I'm gonna field the ball, I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna drive the ball this way, and I'm gonna shake hands. And I'm gonna take two to three hard steps towards my target. So those are the keys to double play turns underhand feeds, you're going to use this underhand feeding technique on any balls hit at you 
or to your right. So that's all we have. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Give it a thumbs up, share with all your friends, all of that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later. What do you need to be a great infielder? Okay, let's talk about the mental game because this is such an important part of fielding. And a lot of people don't talk about this. If a hitter hits a ball 90 plus miles an hour, the ball's gonna travel about 90 feet in a half a second. I catch when my left foot lands. I get to the right, I brace, I go. So I'm gonna bring the ball here as my right foot starts to go to my left. take the ball out of my glove, my fingers should be on top of the ball. I don't take it out like this. I don't take it out like this. I'm on top of the ball right here. But it's not just about fielding the ball again. It's about fielding the ball properly every single time. If you're just gonna wait for your team to practice, you're not gonna be a very good fielder. If you're just gonna wait to field at practice when your coach actually does fielding practice, you're not gonna be a very good fielder. If you think you're gonna get great fielding three to five balls in an infield outfield, you're crazy. You've gotta field a lot. And so you've gotta field before practice, you've gotta field after practice, you've gotta be able to do it on your own. Don't just wait for somebody to say, let's go practice infield. Go grab somebody and say, let's practice infield.